Hola. Okay, I'm ready. I'm on time. I'm here. It's live. And it was scheduled. So I hope you guys are ready. Let me open the chat here. So in the past, I used to watch YouTubers. I won't say any names, but quite a few of them would have like a mannequin or a dress form in the background. And me being the entrepreneur that I am, the reseller that I am, I just wish they would always put something on their mannequin. So luckily, I did it because they're things that need to be listed but also i mean you never know who's watching and you can totally i've sold stuff off youtube so but i mean i'm talking about like big resellers you know what i mean they have like a thousand people watching at one time you should never ever leave your mannequin naked you should put some clothes on it because they may want what you got hanging up Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Pickers Incense Shop and Casey Lakeman. Well, they were here. We'll see if they come back. They were actually here 30 minutes early, so <laughs> we'll see if they're still here. Um, DIY guy, he's the one that introduced me to the freebie companies that sent me that hair straightener steamer that I never even really use, but I do use it sometimes because it helps. I just try not to put much heat at all on my hair. Merch, you're live. Ultimate guide to keywords for merch by Amazon. I wish I was doing merch right now and not the pound store haul, to be honest. Um, it's like a phase I go through. It's what my husband said at lunch. He's like, it's totally a phase. You always go through these phases because I was telling him about the crystal rocks that I'm obsessed with and then the doTERRA oils. <clears throat> so, Bobby Loves to Coupon is here, Amelia is here, Nancy Hibbard, I always want to say Hubbard, my stepdad has Hubbard family, um, and again, Bobby Loves to Coupon, welcome, let me pop out the chat, <clears throat> okay, I did, gotta be honest, I had a sangria at lunch. It was over an hour ago, okay, so I'm coming down from it. <laughs> and did I already, I already said, yeah, Casey's back. Okay, cool. Hello, Casey. All right, so I went shopping yesterday to the pound store. Most of you may know my mom comes to work at my house on Saturdays. And so I gotta get out of the house because like our personalities clash, right? We're two very independent, strong women, don't like to be told what to do, etc. So uh, right away, I'm going to show you these shoes. Quick story on these. And I have one other story that I just can't wait to tell you guys about because it's so funny. Um, it's not really funny. It's just funny. Um, I got these shoes for $2. Okay, they're Steve Madden. Steve Madden is sold at Dillard's in my town, where I see it, where I typically shop at. And I ain't even gonna lie, I popped the top on the back of my uh, Forerunner and threw my big bag and other bag of stuff in the back of my SUV. And I put these bad boys on. And then I walked over to right next door. It's kind of awkward when you walk on that side of town because it's like industrial. It's like the other side of the street. No shit. So, um, yeah, these fit great. They kind of feel funky, you know, because they don't have the heel. They're super comfortable. They kind of look funky, but I'm really obsessed with the ankle strap. Like this right here is super uber sexy, right? And the strap on the ankle just like does the same effect for me. So I got those for $2. I don't really know where I would wear those. I feel like I wanna keep them for a while, but we'll see. <clears throat> I was gonna um, wait till the end of the video to do the hard goods, but here I have one of the best hard goods that I found of all time yesterday. Um, Pronto Pro, it says it's a home theater control panel. It's by Philips, you know, the electronics brand Philips. 
um, I got the whole box and everything. I'll show that to you. But inside that box, I see that I found a mixology. And I've heard people talk about mixology a lot. I in no way heck will ever use this because it's clearly, I think it's full and, you know, like brand new, but I don't know where it's been. So I won't be using it. And I don't know if mixology is organic and that's what I'm into right now. So um, I'm going to check out the comps on a used bottle and maybe flip it on Posh or something like that. See where it is. I went ahead and got it. And if not, I'll throw it in my garage sale. People buy that stuff all day long. So 75 cents a pound is what my hard goods is. So I didn't go cheap this time, you guys. You should be proud of me. I uh, decided to get the whole box because, of course, it may be worth a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> but I did find the whole box to this Pronto Pro Home Theater Control Panel. It sells for, like, maybe 80 bucks, 75 It's got all the parts. It does need to be charged because clearly it's turning on, and I think it had a low battery maybe on it. I'm going to turn this off, and I need to. Oh, look, that's cool that we're opening it because this is something that I bought. Y'all know I'm into those crystal rocks. I found these, and oh, I can't do it. It's magnetic, and it won't, you know. Hey, okay, there, I tried it. So they're magnetic. I don't know the stone off the top of my head. I'm sure you guys do. But they make bracelets out of this stone. And these are always just cool to play with. The kids will think this is fun. I don't know what these are called. So I got those for 75 cents a pound. I'm a little overwhelmed right now because I am going to have a garage sale this weekend, but I just have too much junk right now. A lot of junk. Especially with the jewelry, I have a lot. Um, not only does it have a top up there, you guys, but it's also full of the compartments down here. We got the charging dock and everything. So hopefully I'll definitely get my money's worth out of this. This is just like a pound, a couple pounds. Not a lot at all. I'm going to actually put that right there. <clears throat> cute shoes. They are cute. They're kind of funky, but then they're kind of different. This is the best vintage piece that I'll show you. I think it might be the only vintage piece, I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So this is a like a maxi dress, you guys. It goes all the way to the ground. There's no tags. It, when I'm throwing it like that, it smells really vintage, like a old people's home, right? Talking like old, old, old vintage. It's got some kind of old fabric um, shoulder padding in there. Ruffled sleeve, really cute. I'm like totally into these like modest dresses, you guys, especially the ones that went real big and fluffy at the bottom with all the um, lace and stuff, tool, whatever. This is a very high quality, um, what is it, suede? Yeah, it's not velvet. Yeah, I think suede. Is it suede? It's like velvet or suede. I can't even get it right. Don't crucify me. Uh, suede or velvet. I want to get them mixed up. Now I can't even think about it. Jamie, hello. Is it Jamie? Right. And I think it's handmade or tailor made, whichever, back vintage style. There it is, the inseam. So, yeah, long, long dress. If I could guesstimate, the size on it, I'd say a medium, maybe. Oh, goodness. I'm nervous because Friday, yeah, I'm going to get my hair done and at like 2.30, I think. So I'm going to have to finish the garage sale early on Friday. 
and then have to have another one on Saturday because I doubt I get rid of everything and then I'm going to donate what I don't need. Cotton velvet? Yeah. Yeah, it's like velvet. Jamie. I always get Jamie and like Jaime confused. I don't know why. Lola Chickies in the house. Um, I almost threw this back, but it's super cute. It's like a tunic sweater from New York and Company. I don't pick up their brand too much, but this is even something I could wear. Oh, it's 100% acrylic. And it's a large. I like it because it's, it's comfy. I'm totally going to wear this this winter. That I'm going to keep over there. Wait a minute against the wall. Hematite. The orange ones, are you talking about these? I have my bad boys right here. These ones? The stones are polished hematite. Or are you talking about the one that Thrifty Christie is saying is... And now my hairstylist says she can't do my hair Friday. That's fine, because I have stuff to do anyways. I won't feel so rushed. Um, Thrifty Christy says, no, it was Maddie. Sorry, Maddie. Unikite? Unikite? Unikite Jasper, maybe? It looks just like it, except it has that clear white stone in there. Oh, <laughs> hematite. Sorry. I'm such a goober. Yeah. These ones, the magnetic. Thank you. Hematite. I thank you so much because we're going to find out if they have like the silly healing properties. Heem. Hematite. A. It says hematite uses. Let's click on that. Oh, that one's black. The most important ore of iron hematite is a wide variety of other uses, but the economic significance is very small. Iron. No, that's not the right one. Let's look at the images. Oh, yeah. It is hematite. Okay. These are so fun. You play with these all day long. The appetite for hematite, the protecting, centering, calming, and cooling are just a few of the properties of hematite. Here you go. Oh, thank you, Casey. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Take a picture. I'm so big on screenshots. I'll take, my husband doesn't have a Facebook page, and I will take, um, <clears throat> screenshots of Facebook, either of, like, Friends of friends that I know or he knows and be like, so-and-so says this. And he's like, hmm. He has, like, no interest for Facebook. Whatever. Stress relief. Yeah, I'm going to have to not get rid of these. I guess I'm going to have to add this to my rock collection, right? So, again, your rocks and your stones, they find you. Okay, we won't continue on forever about that but seriously next time you see a rock you might look at it differently and look up the properties and see if you needed it okay how could I not get this and the lady was like oh my god I was holding this up and I was looking at it to see if I wanted to get it because it's so sexy in the back and this Hispanic lady on the row on the other side of me was like oh that would look so pretty on you Lady, like, B, I would not wear this. Oh, my gosh. I have kids. I just got water on it just now. It's a Charlotte Russie, but, oh, my gosh, this thing is so cute. And the um, color is adorable. So I got it, and she was like, and lo and behold, she was the one that I had showed privately. I'll show you guys for my lucky viewers. I posted it, I think, on my YouTube channel. But um, 
I had modeled a leather dress and oh my gosh, it looks so good on me. Felt like a million bucks. Here it is. It's all leather from Wilson's leather. And I had showed it to her that picture because I didn't even know her. I was like, look at that dress I found. Look how good it looks on me. And she was like, yeah, it looks good. That shirt would look good on you just like that dress. I was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> okay. You love rocks and gemstones too, Lola Chicky. Well, I'm just starting to love them. So I appreciate them a lot more now. I don't know this brand, but it's uber cute. It's got the ruffle bottom here. I would wear this. And it's got the picnic checker, like you're going on a picnic. Hey, mosquito, I'm gonna kill you. He's coming for me, you guys, because I have O negative blood and the dogs are bringing the mosquitoes in. Damn. He's all over my stanky feet. Oh, Nora, okay, that's all right. You're hanging out all morning. Fudge, man, I can't get this mosquito. They need to come up with like a catcher. You know, instead of a mosquito, I got him. Stupid thing. I'm slick like that, man. I like caught him barely on camera. Um, yeah, you were here all morning. Thanks for hanging out with me. <clears throat> this is cute. You'll be learning about minerals and rocks and science this year. I was going to say, Casey, you were commenting on the doilies. Yeah, at the end of the video, I realized I have some doilies here, by the way. Um, at the end of the video, I realized I was spelling doilies wrong. So that's part of our education for the day. Um, you were commenting on the doilies video and we were live and we were talking about the rocks uh, for your homeschooling. Doing, oh, you're doing weather right now. How fun. This is cute, like a boho. It's Batwing. It is by, ooh, Ecote, Ecot, Ecote. This was actually by the register. I think someone decided when they were checking out they had too many things like I do, and they threw this back, and I was super happy to get that brand and that style. This one is actually Target, small, medium, maybe petite, medium, acceleration. But it's like a duster kind of, but a vest duster. And I really wanted to throw it back, but it's uber cute. Like, I just want to put it on right now and wear it with what I'm wearing. See, like you could totally layer this. So gorgeous. <clears throat> Um, I found a new York and Company, new a tag dress, and it is $69.95. It's an XX large. It's got some really cute, um, classy ruffle sleeves. I don't know if classy is the word, but that's what I like to say. Um, very modest and elegant, reserved. It is buttoned back all the way down. It's like a tunic dress. So extra, extra large. I'm gonna hang this right here so we can get the wrinkles out. I'm addicted to all these wonderful clothes. Like I can't wait till I get tired of the pound store and can't stand all this hoarding clothes and stuff. Um, I love when I find in a row that looks like there's nothing. It looks like it's just a freaking junk pile. Like all the YouTubers talk about the pound store. Like it's so dirty, da, 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 whatever. Um, some people just, you know, are just born to be able to take it. So this is a romper and it is absolutely gorgeous. And you never would have thought that this was a good piece where I found it. it just looked like a junk pile or something. That's sometimes where you find your best pieces. I tend to have a habit of washing my hands a lot because um, I can't stand how dirty it does get sometimes. So this is for me. It's, um, I tell you what, every day I 
open my closet and I never can freaking find a shirt to go with the bottoms. Like this one I've had for a while. I think I got it at Kohl's. It's kind of hard to match bottoms with it. But this black will go with anything. Um, sometimes I feel uncomfortable wearing this out at places. I'm not even going to lie, like reserved or whatever. Um, and this is just like a nice office piece that I can wear anywhere. Show houses to clients. Like I wouldn't feel comfortable showing houses in a shirt like this. I honestly wouldn't. Um, to a husband and a wife or whatever. So it's a large, which I love, 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 love. I can't stand tight clothes. Like this is the tightest I'll ever go. Can't stand turtlenecks either. There's another piece for me. I need to like seriously rip out my whole closet and start over. I ain't even gonna lie. Like that's how I feel about my current closet. Um, This one, I thought about putting back because Victoria's Secret can be okay but actually when I inspected it it's a hoodie it's Victoria's Secret it's a size small but it's embellished and it's got skulls so I got it because I can probably list it higher a basic black one would probably be worth 20 or less Nowadays, for resale value, this is used, okay? Um, but due to the embellishing and stuff, maybe even higher, 35 or higher if you wanted to. So I'm not seeing any, you know, stones missing. And when I say these clothing, I would refer to Poshmark, not eBay. Because um, everyone knows eBay, you can get stuff for like crazy cheap. So I wish I would keep this for myself to have as a basic shirt, but that's like way low cut uh, for one. I don't have the baggage to support that. It's a uh, medium pink. And then two, I just don't really wear pink like all the other girls do. I don't follow that trend. Sorry. I'll wear it, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, I got to go have some more of. It crossed my mind to throw this back, but it's uber cute. It is a tan with this lace pocket. It's actually a plus size. It's a 2X. I totally think that you could pull this off as a size large tunic dress, maybe. T-shirt dress. I see a little spot down here. I'm not sure it's all the way at the bottom in the back so I don't know if that needs to be washed or if it's a fabric imperfection or if it's a stain it's really hard to tell wear a cami underneath yeah um, I'm definitely wanting to list this for a pretty good price one it's a plus size I don't know who this brand is brand spin Here's the back. I don't know what that's called, like a pleat or something. I've heard people describe this, but I can't remember. Um, I'm gonna wash this and see, throw that with the my keep pile. <laughs> I might even wear it once or twice, but we need to see if we can get that stain out. <clears throat> I'm like in love with this next piece. It super looks preppy. It kind of feels cheap, but I wish I had more of these. Okay, so I don't know this brand. I don't know this brand. Brown, Brownstone Studio. But look how cute! It's so preppy. Hold on, I'm really kind of flustered, face hot. I gotta turn on this other fan right there. <clears throat> It's so cute. It seems like you would have to um, wash this and immediately hang it up to air dry because I don't like to dry polyester in the dryer. It dries super quick against your cotton, but um, it would get really wrinkly if you don't hang it up like it is. So I'm going to keep this. I'm going to wear that to the office this winter. Super excited about that piece.
I don't know what's up with this NASA, you guys. Everyone's wearing the NASA. Um, what is the saying? Do they have a something's going on with NASA? I can't remember. Was it a TV show or something? <laughs> I can't even remember what my, someone told me recently. Um, but here I picked up a black NASA hoodie. I'm going to see if Tucker wants this because I don't know if it has a high resale value. But, I mean, anything to do with space is cool. So I took it. I was like, yes. It's an excellent condition. Seems to be a little boy's shirt or a teenager's shirt. It's made by this company here. Whatever it is. I don't know. I'll ask Tucker if he wants it. I don't know if he does. Here's another preppy shirt. <laughs> this one, it reminds me, I don't know. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. Maybe if you see it, you can put it a laughing emoji in the comments. Uh, it's this brand, MNG, and it says suit. But for some reason, I keep seeing another word. Um, I don't know. I just, it's really soft. I like the color contrast here, the difference. It's actually uber soft. I'm like, I want to wear this too, except it's buttoned. It smells really clean. Oh, it's a pullover. My bad. <clears throat> I can't put it on. I would have like triple layer. So it looks bigger in size. It's not like super tight. I think I'm going to keep that one too. My pound store is the bomb, you guys. Like I got too much good stuff. It's like I'm shopping for myself and not reselling. I actually could see myself wearing this, but like, do you honestly see Heather wearing a dress like this? I am not preppy like this. And it's so pretty. Just, just sell it, Heather. And then maybe no one, it's, Tiana B, Tiana B, it's a size eight. It's actually perfect size for me in a dress. <laughs> I'm gonna resell it, I won't wear it. I looked this up on eBay and I couldn't find it. It's a vintage um, hospital dress. It says Hospitex medium pre-shrunk, 100% cotton. And I've never seen anything like it. It reminds me of like a military, uh, hospital dress so it's short sleeve and then it's got a spandex waist it's got your nurse pockets this would be good for even halloween um but it's an actual real deal you guys real vintage hospital dress um i typed in everything that the tag said here and i didn't see any comps so if anybody can give me any like keywords other than hospital dress yeah let me know because ebay i mean somebody has had to have sold this on ebay so again it's a dress and it's really nice thick 100 percent cotton you guys i um i honestly like i slightly wanted to throw it back but i couldn't like it's so special it's special like all of this. Democracy, um, again, I feel like if I would wear it, that I would that it would sell, I don't know. And I looked up de Democracy on Poshmark and they seem to be selling it okay. So I picked up these jeans. Um, it does have the bigger like hole right here. So that kind of worried me that the hole is so big but I went ahead and got them for a dollar a pound at my pound store for clothes. <clears throat> That's perfect, Casey. I didn't even think about that. It does look like a surgical top or surgical hosp hospital dress. <clears throat> Honestly, I wanted to throw this back to look, nobody wanted it at our local thrift stores. It's a beautiful, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this tag is from Dillard's, I believe. Looked like they might have thrown it over to like TJ Maxx or something. Nobody bought it even there, right? And then Goodwill, right? 
it's this beautiful i love these draping right here like i don't even have the cleavage to support like a dropping neckline but it's so pretty you guys even when you don't show cleavage in these kind of shirts to show like this upper right here just feels so pretty i don't know why um i love it in sweaters and everything so i couldn't not get it it's like well just keep it for your freaking self heather complaining about not having any shirts but it is a small seems like it's a medium to large though i don't know i don't like to keep anything new with tags i prefer to sell it next piece is under armor and i'm um, pretty sure the uh, spandex is coming needs to be sewn hemmed in the inside but they're freaking adorable little girl i think under armor it's not even peeling i was hoping these would have been boys because tucker would love these but i'm pretty sure these are girls you don't see little boys wearing under armor down the lake do you i don't i don't know i don't see a size charged here's another shirt i figured i'd get for myself while i was at it it's a medium ny collection this one's got the cute hmm i don't know the wording for it it's kind of got a lot of white here i'll wear it a couple times and i may like throw this in the resale pile as well actually yeah okay good there's no rips or runs. I thought I saw a huge run down the back, but I always expect stuff. Inspect. So it's beaded all the way down. I figured, Heather, just get it for yourself, okay? It's like really inexpensive. All right, next piece. I think somebody threw this back maybe thinking that somebody had cut it because it almost looks like, hey, Thrifty Christy, um it almost looks like somebody cut it on the sides it's so long and toby i think i've heard of a huge reseller again no names mentioned this brand a lot in the past i've never sold this have y'all toby um but it you can feel it it's high quality this would fit me but i'm not into the long uh slits because then you have to wear a freaking shirt underneath of it and I'm hot natured and I can't deal with two layer clothes like this is really breathable so forever 21 I do not pick this up unless it's got again a saying and this is so cute I would probably wear it, it says monster and October's coming it's like brand new black not faded or anything Feels like it was either never washed or washed once or twice, like barely. Such cute clothes, right? This piece is for me. I actually just got rid of a green tunic dress and uh, it's going in the garage sale this weekend, I think. So I'm probably replacing it with this one. It's a cowl neck also. <clears throat> the one I had before that I'm getting rid of is long sleeve. This is short sleeve. I'm uber hot natured. Again, this has got that beautiful draping on the neckline that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> Literally obsessed with that neckline. Okay, if you look this up on eBay, there's like over 10 or 15 of them listed, but they are listed for like 35 and up. I threw this back and the, a lady standing next to me was like, no, you should get it. And I was like, okay, I guess. Poinsettia. Um, it's got the cute little arch in the front and the back. Perfect for Q4, as you guys keep calling it. I don't keep up with that stuff. I should better. Uh, Lawrence Kazar. Paris, New York, says it's 100% silk. Thank you, Thrifty. Sometimes I just not feeling it, and then sometimes I am. 
just feel better when you kind of dress up though too, right? What the heck, man? I can't believe my hairstyle is just canceled on me too. And like it's she had already messed it up. It's like, when do you want me to come? I can probably go this weekend. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So this was, oh, I didn't tell y'all my favorite little story. It made me so happy at the pound store yesterday. Um, so here's Joseph Ripkoff. Some of these sell for really good money. And then you can find Poshmark and even eBay sell this for lower dollar. Um, but this is a higher end brand. And, and what I love about it is this freaking like, I'm not sure you guys can see it, but it almost looks like it's leather. And I'm obsessed with these too. Obsessed with the pleather leather looking pants. And like, well, let's double layer it up again. Um, this thing would be so cute. I can tell you guys that like, it is very hard for me to sell vests on Poshmark. They sit longer than most of any pieces that I ever resell. So anything to do with a vest, I don't pick it up unless it's like uber good. You got to run to work. Okay, we'll see you later. Did we catch you on your lunch break, huh? Aw, you're so sweet. <clears throat> yeah, see, I don't feel on that. So we're going to resell that, of course. I don't really wear vests either. Not into the double layering. It's super cute, but I hate laundry. I hate laundry with a passion. There's laundry all over my couch right now. Can never, it's an endless supply. Um, this piece I got, it's not white, it's like a cream color. And I literally got it for myself. Sorry. <laughs> Last piece in the clothing item, and then I got some shoes. Oh my gosh, yes. And then I'll tell you my good story. It's so funny. It makes me happy anyways. Um, it's missing the belt, but it, again, I'm not going to model this one for you. I need to throw it in the wash and see if this will come out. I looked at it a couple times. And it looks like it is an easy removable stain. This is a Forecaster International um, trench coat. Really super good quality. So that was the only problem with this coat. So quality made. Like I tried it on at the pound store. It was, it's nice. I'm going to wash it or treat those areas. So I'm talking to this guy. Um, I would say he's a black guy and he's so funny. He's a character. Is it him? I tell him, I, I tell, which he says he has a girlfriend and it's funny because he's in his like 50s or something. Scrub? The green one? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe Scrub. Yeah, I didn't try Scrub at all. Good, 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 good thought, Nancy. Thank you. So we got surgical and then scrub to add in there. I don't know if I did add scrub or not. I'm not, I can't remember. Um, anyways, on to my story real quick. So y'all get the feel of the pound store, I guess. Um, he works for the community and he helps with like troubled children too, I think. He's older. He's so, he's so funny. Like, where's a gold chain? He's got curly hair. Get, I don't like to describe things in too much detail. Um, anyways, he was talking to me about something, and I always tell him, I say, you only come here to the pound store to pick up chicks, because he's always talking to a chick, and he laughs about it. Oh, but that's what's funny is I had asked him one time, and he has a girlfriend. He's like, no, I got a girlfriend. And he's like, yeah, but she lives in her house and I live in my house. So like they don't even live together. I'm like, man, I wish I could live like that. Like that's, that would be cool sometimes, you know, to have just your peace and quiet freaking space. Anyways, my funny story that I was going to say, that wasn't it, is he was standing next to me and um, I look over to the left and there's this little boy. He's like... I don't know, six years old or 
five, six, seven, maybe. These are a good brand. Oh, I see, I see, I see. The belt is missing unless it fell off. Um, I didn't even notice that. Anywho, there's this little boy standing next to us. And I look over and he looks at me or something. And I look back at the guy. I don't know his name. But I was like, yeah, um, I bet that little boy goes to a private school. Because he was wearing some, like, blue slacks and a white button-down shirt. And it was about, like, 4 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday. And uh, so I asked the boy and... Again, most of the people that go to my pound store, they sell at the flea market. So they're from Mexico. A lot of Hispanics go to flea markets. And so I asked the little boy, I'm like, what school do you go to? And he just looks at us with this expression like, I don't know what you're talking about, lady. So he doesn't know English. And so I look over to the guy. I'm like, oh, he doesn't know English. So I look over to the... Um, little boy the niño niño is little boy and niña is little girl in spanish and i said uh, the only thing i could think of was como te llamas and that's uh what's your name como te llamas what's your name and uh <clears throat> and then i said escuela so como te llamas escuela so i asked them what's the name of your school and then he told me uh, the name of the school. I won't say it out loud. But anyways, it was cool because he talked back to me. And I was like, I do know Spanish. Yay. Okay. So there was another guy. He was black. And he gets pretty greedy with the freaking shoes. Like, he will literally start grabbing shoes in front of you and, like, just grabbing like a crazy madman. It gets kind of annoying. Well, I saw him throw these back. And lo and behold, I noticed it's missing the belt. But these shoes, even used, sell for $150 and up on Poshmark. So go to your solds and look on Poshmark and the word Freebird. I've never found this brand, Freebird, before. <laughs> Nora, you're still here. Yeah, well, I felt so special. I was like, I know that's not the way you say um what's the name of your school in spanish is what i told the, the black guy in front of me i was like but he got what i was saying so yeah i saw that guy he just wanted um like nike tennis shoes or something someone told me so these are uh blade you can type in free bird and then blade these are size nine they're all leather made in mexico um i didn't see that they were missing the harness on the boots but that's okay i don't care these will still sell so that was a score for two dollars and we don't have a lot left you guys it'll go quick these i did try on kind of hesitant but i thought they were cute y'all know i love this nude tan color one flaw with these are not the toes toes are excellent condition Right, they need to be cleaned a little. The heels on the back are pretty good, decent, right? They're not really tall, but they're damaged underneath there. So I was wondering, like, maybe a brown paint or color. I don't know. I'll have to think about this. And you can't really see that, can you? But yeah, somebody was like rich enough to just donate these brand new Lucky Brand shoes. So they're uber cute. You left and you came back. Uh, when that new row came out, I found these little boy Ariat. These won't fit, Rylan. I don't think so. These are too small. Yeah. Oh, that would be smart. Yeah, I'll show you something. Speaking of which, these are a size 9 Ariat. Really good condition. One thing to always watch out for boots that I've learned at the pound store is to always check your heel. Some kids or some people will walk on one foot wrong and one of the boot will be like halfway damaged and gone. But let me show y'all something real quick. 
my forever long haul. It's like a YouTube marathon today for me. <clears throat> so I called Kate Spade. What was it yesterday or the day before? I compulsively bought this purse on Poshmark for $70 plus I paid $6 shipping because I'm crazy. I know. Um, I honestly felt like I knew that the spade was missing, but when I got it, I realized I just don't like it. And I thought, well, maybe I'll be stuck with this purse because there's no returns on Poshmark, right? Well, the girl never put it in the description that the freaking spade was missing. Um, honestly felt like I could order a spade, you know, like online and just glue one on here and I would be fine with that. Like, I don't care. Um, I realize this is out of season and I don't really care. Like I don't follow the trends. Like most people like winter and falls coming, you have to wear darker colors. That's not me. I don't care. Like I'll wear this in the fall or winter. You know what I mean? So anyways, um, I did my research. I couldn't find the spade anywhere online. I call Kate Spade and they're like, yeah, no, you have to pay us $45 and we will put the new spade on for you. Like you can't buy the spade and put it on. We will only sell it to you if, um, they, they third party it out. So I was actually talking to a third party who fixes Kate Spade bags um, that they contract out work or whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, 45 to $50 just isn't worth my um, money to repair that. So I go back to the listing and I see that the girl has nowhere in the listing clearly told me that it's missing the spade. So I have opened a case. I'm waiting on Poshmark to decide. Um, if anyone's curious, ask me in the next stream and I'll let you know, or maybe I'll post it on my uh, YouTube community tab. So go there and check it out. But yeah, I don't know why it's already taken like two days and Poshmark hasn't decided the case yet. Still, I'm waiting because of nowhere clearly. And so the seller says in the comments on the case, she's like, well, it says clearly in the listing that you need to look at the pictures for the where the case is still in review. And I just commented back to the case, um, description box dash missing spade, like nowhere on there does it say it's missing the spade. So we'll see, we'll see. If I'm stuck with the purse, whatever. I'm totally not gonna pay $45, like whatever. So here I have some doilies, hard goods. She weighed this at hard goods. She said she was confused on whether this is supposed to be textile because she used to say textile, she only charged if it went on your body, but this is like hard goods, it's decoration. So she's kind of confused. So she did weigh me at 75 cents a pound for fabric, which probably should be weighed at a dollar a pound. But here's one, look, it's not even stained. We did research this morning live on YouTube. Um, and if you actually get like 50 of these pieces, they can sell for $50 or higher. And some of just one of these pieces can sell for like 20, 30 bucks, depends. So it looks like I have three. Pretty nice ones too. Pretty cute. I wonder how much I could get for just these three. I don't know. Should I wait and get like 50 you guys? Or you know, 50 and plus like the video this morning? Unless I was just really typing in the wrong spelling. Okay, so I got those. I am not going to use this, but this is one of those bath bombs and it's wrapped. So I'm going to actually throw this in my garage sale for like a dollar or two, maybe two dollars. I'll write on that. It's one of those fizzing bath bombs. Uh, Bobby says she went to a Kate Spade outlet. OMG, I was so in love with the purses a couple weekends ago, if I had not just bought a coach. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, Kate Spade's got some beautiful stuff. But then I saw Coach at Dillard's the other day. Coach just came out with their fall, I think, and they displayed it in Dillard's. They look just like Spade style, like they're copying. I know they bought Kate Spade, but Coach seems like they're replicating Kate Spade style. So these are basic cork wedges, but they're Kohlhan. And if you look at the bottom, they're also Nike Air. So I went ahead and paid $2 for those. There was a lot of really nice shoes. I actually put two pair back. Two of them were like Steve Madden or something. And these are Trina Turk. They are made in Brazil, size 8. And none of the rhinestones are missing. They're like uber good quality made. So I got those. That's like what? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Yeah, like six pairs of shoes. Okay, three more things and we're done. And now I need to like list or do something. I'm gonna do something. Yeah, we're. To I gotta totally list some jewelry. Three things left. Hard goods. So I didn't get lucky. I didn't find any Tiffany jewelry. But I found the Tiffany box. And I'm about 99% sure that people want this Tiffany box. Tiffany jewelry, you guys, used can sell for like $400 and up. So to find the box, I'll definitely resell. I've actually already seen, I think, that Poshmark, you can buy the box alone. Uh, that's why I know that these sell. I don't know about eBay, but... I'm almost quite certain I saw these selling on Poshmark. So I got that. I got an Oakley's bag for sunglasses. This is like not the first time I found this bag for like for Oakley's. And then this uh, contraction device is a vintage radio. Is it missing a logo here? <laughs> I think it is. It's a Zenith. And, oh gosh, I think they sell for like 20 bucks. I think I researched it, 20, 25 and up. And mine is broken. The closing snap here is broke. I think it snaps, but I saw one that did sell still for like 18 or 20 bucks. So I thought, okay, 75 cents a pound. I'll just go ahead and get this and preserve history because there's not a lot of these on eBay. So I definitely went ahead and got this radio. And that's it. Casey Lakeman says she bought a jewelry jar for the first time. It is the size of the big pretzel barrels you get at Sam's Club for $28. You might do a video with your daughter. Let me make sure the bell is checked. Have you done a video before? I wish Poshmark would hurry up and decide my case so I can buy a new purse or move on and wear my blue broken one. I don't know why I accidentally bought that. So dumb. And now I'm broke. No, really, I am broke. I like blue too much money lately. Shopping. And now, I'm broke. and now I'm broke. Oh, you've never done a video. Yeah, that's a big jewelry jar. Woo! Oh, chat. Go to channel. Okay, I'm subscribed and now I hit the bell. Okay. Do it! Do it! I dare you. I double dog dare you, Casey. You know you can just point it down like this. See? See what I have to live with? Junk. Hoarding. Somebody asked me, would I rather do real estate or thrifting? Totally real estate. I'd rather deal with paperwork any day than have to deal with death piles. You used to buy fake Tiffany bracelets to wear, and I did get those boxes like that. <gasps> really? So you're saying I could have a replica box? 
Damn it. How do you know if it's real? Do I need to go look? We all sub to you, Casey. I was already subbed, but I hit the bell. So here's my box. It's got a silver, what is it? Wait, yeah, that totally looks generic. I feel like Tiffany would have a way better logo. You're right. Thank you for letting me know. Um, possibly. Yeah, definitely. That's de definitely something to consider. I never would have thought <laughs> that a replica Tiffany and company would have a box. Yeah, I feel like they'd have more to it. I mean, the price of the jewelry, right? <laughs> no, no problem, Casey. I love it when people voice what they think for sure. Okay. I'm done. I got to get to standing up and clean up all this freaking hoarding hall. So hope you guys have a great day again, as always. Um, please leave me a comment. If you have any questions or comments, we will talk to you later. Have a great evening. Oh, okay, I'm gonna walk you through it right now. You ready? Hold on, don't go nowhere, Casey. No excuses. Are you still here? I'm gonna screen share. Okay, don't go anywhere. I see you. So I'm gonna open this new window and I'm gonna go to YouTube. Well, this is if you have the new beta though. Hopefully just make sure you go to uh, the new beta if you haven't since you have your new channel. I don't know. So you have to go here and just I'll kind of walk you to it. I know even if you don't have the beta, this is kind of where you'll find it. Go to your, come on, I'm going to check your chat. Uh, yes. Okay. Got you. <laughs> Great haul. Thank you, Bobby. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so you would go here and you'll go to your, it'll say creator studio or mine says YouTube studio beta. So then from over here, this is where at one point I was freaking out. I got lost and I didn't know what to do next because YouTube literally lost the upload button at one point. So there's upload here. And then if you say live streaming here, it wouldn't work. See, it's just a gray screen. There's like a glitch, right? Nothing's here. So you actually, I had to go here to missing features every time. Um, I have to go here to live streaming. And then from here, after it loads, this is where you get scared. You'll freak out, okay? But you can go to a vet. You can stream now, which I never use this feature. I don't even know how to start a stream right here. I always create the event. And whether I am going to do an event right now, you can just hit go live now. But if you want to schedule it for tonight, then you go to your time over here and you can schedule it for 9 p.m. And me, I have my settings already set up, like somewhere in here, you can go in and it pre-fills all my links in here, which you're not gonna do that yet. But I mean, that's basically it. Somebody gave me a thumbs down on the Crystal Viable video. I mean, you can go check your videos here. Um, so I haven't had a thumbs down in a while and then randomly someone will come in and give me a thumbs down. It's so funny, but, and, but then they don't tell you why. So you just get over it. Like if people don't tell you why you don't know why usually it's haters. Like I'm not going to say a channel, but I've seen, you know, you see channels that people hit the thumbs down before they even start the live video. Don't let that get to you. Okay. Like literally, I see huge YouTubers, even I watch a chick that talks about hamsters. She's
freaking sweetest innocent girl and she gets thumbs down on her videos like before she even starts talking it's like don't let it get to you people okay so yeah go to find your live streaming if this button isn't working for you guys it's because you need to upload to the beta probably um and if you can't if it's not working here then you need to go here again um let's see to the youtube beta uh, i'll show you one more time and then i'll end the video and then you got to go to your missing features i wear it why it's not just here on your page i have no idea i have to go to missing this is the only thing I use on missing features is live streaming. So, and then this is where you go to events. I would highly recommend just, just click on events and go like you're going to schedule one and you hit new. So that's wrap. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye-bye. One day.